Um, my passion about coding started about three years ago when my dad asked me if uh, it was T-shirt, and I just, my dad taught me how to make functions and call them. So I, I, I made a few games, except I can't publish it. And um, <clears throat> it, it appears on a black and white screen, and it plays it in order. So um, I made a, um, set about seven games, <clears throat> and then it goes in order from this to this. And then you could play it. <coughs> and my second language was HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I was trying to make good empowerment services like my dad, but um, this is as far as my, this is as far as I got. I tried making a mascot, and um, I made a website, but <clears throat> I made it on Mozilla Dimble, and it got deleted and moved on to Glitch.com. And um, but I made a few projects, and I told you how to use HTML and CSS <coughs> and JavaScript. And then to test my skills, I used a website called Scratch for a few months. And um, Scratch is a, a website um, made based on an MIT by the MIT University. And <clears throat> it's in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And I tried it out a few times. And then a few months ago, I've been working on React, which is what my dad is, which my dad recently used for his own code at uh, his work, which is here in Microsoft. And I learned a few stuff, like rendering and calling a function and publishing. So React is, one of, is made by Facebook, and um, you can publish an app on this. So um, then um, I was stuck trying to figure out some more coding websites. And my dad showed me like App Lab because he was trying to um, make me make an app. Uh, so I made a to-do list on this instead, and I didn't publish it because this is basically code.org. And um, so my dad made my dad had an idea. So if um, the kids and parents wanted to use this to-do list, um, they could use the kids version, which is like colorful and fun, and then the parents version, which is just uh, which is just a normal to-do list. So. So I did a do do list because every time my family went to Costco, we always forgot stuff because we were <coughs> well, we were going to order on a piece of paper, <coughs> and um, I just figured out it would be more convenient if you uh, if you could just download an app and um, just write it on your phone, and then you would never forget, and you could check what you wanted if you already checked out like eggs. So. So um, this is a basic page. So I made um, I I extended as far as I went. So um, I'm just gonna and for this one, why I say compare password? If you um, like sign up to other websites, you've probably seen these. So if you create your account, because the password isn't the same, you know, edit it. So now it's going to let you type in your username. And then it opens. And then this is the, so I added a settings bar. And you can change your music and you can change your name already. And then there's a to-do list. So you can write F and then O. And you could uh, wait until you get to your local shopping district, then you could check it if you finished. And I made two versions, and this one's for kids. So the kids version, it's going to be more colorful. I spent more time on this because I added a few more details. Like I added a game to this, which is just a clicking game, a simple clicking game, which you move on to levels until you win. So the same concept, this time I'm not going to actually focus on it. 